Hey guys, example two here. And at the end of example one, I said that I might have three examples, but I'm gonna keep them to two because uh, a third example is not necessary. Um, also, um, I talked about this statement of the Chinese remainder theorem in greater detail in example one, so I'm not gonna talk about it in as much detail here, but I'll quickly remind you what uh, these uh, capital M's with subscripts are. And uh, the rest we'll figure out through the example. So remember, we said in example one that uh, capital M sub K is equal to capital M, which is defined right here, divided by uh, little m sub K, right? Okay, cool. So this is how um, these guys are defined, yeah? Okay, but like I said, you'll see it in action through our example. Now, I want a system of four equations. Um, so a uh, system of... Um, for simultaneous congruence equations. And, and we're gonna come up with them together, the four equations. And since I want this to be about the process and not about multiplying numbers, uh, I wanna keep, uh, keep the numbers as small as possible. So let's say that our first um, equation is x is congruent to one mod two, right? Like we said, keep the numbers as small as possible. And let's say that our second equation is x is congruent to 2 mod 3. Now naively we might want to write the third equation to say x is congruent to 3 mod 4 but we can't and the reason is because 4 and 2 are not relatively prime. Uh, we need all these guys to be pairwise relatively prime. So the smallest number we can pick here is a 5 right there, right? Okay cool. Now that way uh, these three numbers are pairwise relatively prime. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. And so uh, the smallest uh, numbers for our um, fourth equation is x is congruent to, well, we can write a one here, but let's not be so lame, write a four, and then uh, mod, and it's gotta be mod seven. Seven is the smallest uh, number we can find that's pairwise relatively prime to these guys, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's solve this. And maybe like, you know, you're like, you know, like uh, a number guy and you want to just like do this in your head, but we're going to, the rest of us are going to use the Chinese remainder theorem. Okay, cool. First thing first, what we need to find is capital M and capital M is just the product of these four numbers, right? Okay. So that's six times 35. And if you do that, you should get 210. So here it is, 210. Got it. And then capital M1 then um, is going to be 210 divided by little m1 and that's 2 so that's 105 another way to get there I was about to write 150 105 right okay yeah um, another way to get to this number is to leave this out and multiply these three numbers right okay cool um I talked about that in example one and then uh, capital M sub 2 is going to be 210 divided by uh, 3 so that's 70 and just to keep the pattern I'll circle and then um, capital M uh, sub 3 is going to have to be 210 divided by 5 uh, which is like that's like 21 times 10 and 10 divided by 5 is 2 so 21 times 2 or 42 okay my favorite number 42 is my favorite number and then capital M sub 4 um, is equal to 210 divided by 7, which is 30. Mm, I don't like that. 3 and the 30 is poor. Sorry, y'all. 30. Yeah? Okay, we've got our M's. So now we need to find our Y's, right? And those are these guys. Right? And these are pretty easy to find, uh, most of them. But yeah, we can find them. So Y1, we know is going to have to be the inverse of 105 mod 2. In other words, uh, y1 times 105 has to be congruent to 1 mod 2. And that's not because of this one. It's just that the inverse uh, has to get you to 1 mod whatever number you're talking about, right? Okay, so this is 1, y1, because 1 times 105 um, is uh, 1 more than a multiple of 2, right? Uh, 104 is the last multiple of 2 before you get to 105, right? Okay, cool. So that was easy. And then y2 is equally easy. So y2, like, um, 
trying to figure out where I should write it. Y2 is going to be like, okay, so what times 70 is congruent to 1 mod 3? Well, 1, because 1 times 70 is 70, and um, 70 is 1 more than a multiple of 3, um, because 70 is 1 more than 69, and 69 is a multiple of 3, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, and so then um, Y3 and Y4 are a bit more interesting. So Y3 is what times 42 is congruent to 1 mod 5? And it's going to be 3, because... Uh, 3 times 42 is 126, and 126 is 1 more than 125, right? Okay, so Y3 is going to be 3, because again, 3 times 42 gets us to 126, which is congruent to 1 mod 5. Okay, and then Y4, the last one, is going to be uh, 4, because, and this is the one that was hard for me to figure out, because I didn't know that 4 times 30, which is 120, is one more than a multiple of seven because I didn't know that there was a multiple of seven that close to 120 but there is seven times 17 is 119 so I just learned for the first time that 119 is not a prime and now like you know I pass on that knowledge and you can go like impress a girl with it or something you know be like hey like 119 is not a prime she might be like I don't care okay anyway anyway um ax here <laughs> is going to be a1 which is one, right, times. Um, and then M1, like 105, times. And then um, Y1, one, plus. And then A2, which is two, um, times. And then M2, um, 70. And then times Y2, one, okay plus and then a3 which is 3 right and then times m3 which is 42 my favorite number and then times um and then y3 which is 3 and then plus finally plus um a4 which is 4 right times um m4 which is 30 and then times y4 which is 4 so if you do all the multiplication here and all the addition you'll find that x is 1103 but you need to reduce this number uh, mod m so mod um, 210 you'll find that 1103 is congruent to what is it congruent to 53 mod 210 so our final answer is x equals 53. And this is our unique answer. Notice that 1103 is also a solution, but this is our only unique solution because this number and this number are in the same congruence class mod 210. So um, this is the only unique solution, yeah? All right, cool. I hope this helped and keep watching.